Hey, welcome to the ministry. It's been a while, and this 1,500 point game of Warhammer 40,000 8th edition. Today we're going for a bit of fun, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Bit of fun, but all grudges. Yeah. So today it's going to be the World Eaters. I think it's the first time the World Eaters have been on the channel. I think so. Yes. I think they were in the background of the game. Actually, you know what? Else? You were meant to be, and we rolled off to see who played who, and yeah. you got Dave, I think, and I yeah. ended up playing somebody else. You wanted to video the Gene Steelers versus World Eaters well, game, oh, but that's it, it. And that happened in the background, which was an Oh, carnage, absolute carnage. So Michael Senior today has brought it along. Um, the setup's going to be the sort of shallow spearhead. This one, the mission was the mission was visions of victory. Visions of victory, which we'll go over after we've done army list and stuff. But basically, the marines are going to be on this side. We got to pick the deployment, determine the map. Michael's going to set his army up first and choose whether he goes first or second. Um, so we've got to, in the deployment zones down here. There's pretty much two. That one's just sort of on the border. Yeah, I've got an objective up here on the ruins, one down in the bottom corner, one bang in the centre and one just down here as well in that ruin, so plenty of line of sight blocking, bit of Kyosh Shrine in the middle, we've come to sort of, you know, purge, get rid of all these nasty, nasty heretics. I'm actually looking forward to it, because I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. I think if you get in my lane it's going to be horrible, but in a good way. I think hopefully what happens is, you take away half of it, but then what the does, half get, gets what in, does get in, does, what's does a lot of damage. Yeah. I think, I'm, just, I'm hoping for a good showdown anyway. So with that, let's take a look at the armies. So this is some of Michael's world eaters. Um, I'll tell you what, you go through it, say what you've got and I'll zoom in because like you said we've not had these guys before we've got the... Right, so the Warlord is a Juggalord of corn uh, with an Axe of corn, aka a Thunderhammer because yeah. you can do that now. He is the Warlord with the Exalted Champion Warlord traits, so that's plus one attack to his stats. He's also got the Talisman of Burning Blood, Phantom Charge and Reroll Charges, very suiting. He's uh, got a, some friends with him. He's got five spawn who might just be rocking around with him. Anyone who played seventh will know. Uh, yeah, will remember to, that. Yeah, yeah. against the tower, remember? Yeah, he used to do that, so there's some spawn. Uh, behind him is a Sakaran, two Laz Cannons. Uh, and then just to the right of that is two Contemptors. It loaded out exactly the same. Butcher Cannon and Exo, uh, Ectoplasma Cannon. Yeah. And uh, Death Claws. We decided not to go with a chain close, which are minus four four damage, because it's a bit hard. We're just minus three three damage is a little bit, a little bit more uh, bearable. More bearable. I'm happy with that decision, whether, yeah. whether the internet world is or not. Uh, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's, it's the better choice to put for five points to put the chain close on, but we're just we're having a chill game. Um, yeah. Ten, ten uh, cultists just to die because that's what they do. Yeah. Then there's nine. Uh, Berserkers, I'll just turn corn around. Yeah. Nine Berserkers uh, in a Rhino. There's a Power Fist and a Plasma Pistol. And uh, another Plasma Pistol in there somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they're all Chain Axes, as you see, is what you get. And then corn will be with them in a Rhino. Yeah. And then there's a squad of 10 uh, Cone Berserkers. Again, Power Fist, because it's strength 10. Plasma Pistol and one more Plasma Same Pistol. Plasma, and they're all Chain Axes as well. They're all Chain Axes. And the Rhino is just the one Combi Bowler? Just the one, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So that's 1,500 points exactly, is it? Or? No, I think it's 15 or 2 if you let us off on this chill game. Oh. <laughs> Cheat. No, I will let you off. I was, you know what it is? I had something in my list and I had to rework it because I was 15 yeah. or 3, but nah, that's more, that's fine. So I've got 15 or 2. I think it's a, did you say a battalion? It's just a battalion. So you're an 8 command point for being battleforged. Very nice. Right, and these guys today are going to be salamanders, just because it's easy to remember. <laughs> um, and I do like I do like salamanders. It, it's good. It's good as well. And easy to remember. I think it's much better when you've got smaller units. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, so like so things like the dreads and stuff. But um, yeah. So did anyway, to, did I reroll a hit? Or I will. I'll no, be. I always say no. You didn't. Yeah. Oh yes, so, you did. So. so I'll get loads of free rerolls. That's the plan anyway. So I'm rocking a battalion and a vanguard. So I'll be having nine command points. But I've took an extra relic, so I'm going to go down to eight. So for the HQs, I've got the four boss. Lieutenant, um, just with what he's got, comes with, and the full boss librarian. And I think I give him, I'm going to double check his powers, it was Smite, Tenebrous Curse, and I'll have to check the other one, I can't remember what it was. Maybe Mind Raid, I think it was Mind Raid for the Mortal Wound, and then so they do. It was Smite, he stirred. So it's 2 plus Smite. I'm sure it was Mind Raid because the Mortal Wound, and then if it's a character and you roll 3d6, I can get a command point back. It's easy enough to remember, anyway. We've got a Primoris Captain, he's going to be the Warlord. Um, he's got his master crafted gun, he's got a power sword which I'm going to make the blade, the burning blade. blade. Never use burning blade. Yeah, yes. burning blade. And I'm going to make him the Imperium sword which has reroll failed charges. Yeah. And I think he gets an extra attack on the charge. Not as good as yours because yes. it's not permanent but it's 
it's just on the charge. And then we've got three units of troops, so we've got some infiltrators, not the medic in there, just the, I like the model. Um, so they're stock. We've got a unit of six intercessors and a unit of five. This sergeant's been upgraded with a power sword, this one with a power fist, and there's a grenade launcher on each squad as well. Um, so that's a three troops. Um, then we've got a Thunderfire cannon and a tech marine. Two units of interceptors, rocking the bolt guns. We've got a unit of aggressors with the bolters and the grenade harness things. And we've got some snipers, because I really love the models, they're not fantastic. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about this, but anyway, it's about being cool and they can snipe characters, so let's give it a shot. We've got the banner of the Emperor Ascendant going to go on that guy. Again, it's I don't know why, just I thought I might as well, even though there's not... I'm not going to get the usage no, out of it. Yeah, I didn't want to take Hellblasters, hell but my thought was anyway, look, if I'm having to advance up anyway, it's quite cool. And then you can maybe bring a couple of guys back to help out. Um, and then we've got two Venerable Dreadnoughts with twin lads on both, a Stormbolt and Power Fist on one and a Missile Launcher on the other. Which should uh, be a cycle of this launch, It should be, I 100% agree with it. And that is 1,500 points, I think. Nice. Exactly on the nose, or maybe one under. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Point advantage. I think that's why you're cheating, so you'll win. <laughs> and then for this mission, we'll just point out some, you can see there's some cards there. We'll have to ditch six from the deck. So we've took some out. Obviously, I've took out, um, like, Witch Hunter, I think, Scour the Skies. So Michael hasn't got a flyer. Similarly, he's took out Master of the War yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So pretty all much the random ones we have to roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've kept my random ones in because I've ditched a couple of defend cards because I don't like having. I always tend to draw them. I draw them, I draw two or three at once and I never seem to get them. Neither have our balls enough to do the supremacy. That's, yeah. That's, Sup yeah. That's that domination. 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 Yeah. Supremacy is a good one. We'll keep that. Supremacy is a good one. So anyway, next we'll come back. Michael will be set up on here somewhere. I'm going to set up here. He's probably going to choose to go first and get him up there. And let's go. It. Get it on, so quick handshake before we yeah, start. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, got a left handed one. Let's get it on. Right, so the armies are down. We've infiltrated up here with the sniper, the snipers, and the infiltrators. We've hit a lot of stuff down here for now. We're not in line of sight. Obviously, I think Michael's going to play it to go first. And then we've just got a sort of command bubble here. Oh, these aren't even set up properly. Yeah, cheat down. Uh, now I'm finished my setup, that'll do. So I was like lining them there, then I moved on to these. And we've got the bigger intercessor squad down here the lieutenant and the two jumpy dudes in reserve. Michael's got corn in this tank and the other boys in this tank. He wants me to use one of his corn dice for the seas. So are you go do you want to go first? You want to go first, right? So we'll see when the Yeah, so there's the one just to show you the other side. Oh, it's a one. So we don't see. So Michael gets the first turn. Is it three cards? Turn this one. Right, we didn't read the mission, so we'll double check that and we'll come back. Right, so in this one, it's four cards a turn, but you pick two and your opponent decides which one you've got to go for, which is okay because you've ditched a load of rubbish ones. So, so we'll do it live. So this is the first one, yeah. if you like. So, so you'll say that defend two or defend one. Well, one's there. I think two is. I'm sitting on it over there, so you can go for defend two. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I know I'm going to get the same treatment. Oh, I defend, defend four, four or secure, secure one. one. Well, I know one's there. I don't. Four, right, go on. You can do defend four. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm, I think I'm quite happy with that, actually. Well, it's better than a three. Blood and guts on a prisoner's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Corn has spoken. Oh. Secure one, even any of during the five phase of this turn. Well, that lets you score yeah. more, doesn't it? And you can it's shoot easier, them. It's you can shoot them as well, so we can keep blood and guts and ditch that one. That's what I would have done. Next one is defend three. And secure, secure six. six. Sixes. Uh, are you yeah, pulled the sensor? Yeah. I think three is where these are. Aye. So you can do the defend three. Because if your cultists are sitting on six, then they've already scored yeah. your point. So you've got defend one, four, and three. <laughs> That's pretty, Not pretty hardcore. That for a corn list, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? You don't really want to. Uh, and blood and guts has killed something in the fight phase turn one. Yeah, Cord wasn't paying attention there. Only there. Definitely not. Uh, so anyway, we'll come back after Michael's movement phase. So this is Rhino advanced and Pop Smoke. Obviously there's a big enough gap to go around here. So Corrin's moved up, it's sitting on top of Objective 1. Not currently one of his cards, but he's playing the long game. A long war. These guys all advanced. The Lord coming on this way to grant a bit of reroll once the Sakarin. Did hum and haw about going this way for the dreads. This Rhino's advanced Pop Smoke. It can definitely go up here. There's gonna be no cover saves on here because it's not a ruin. Um, and it, Rhino can definitely get up there. Both these guys advanced for the um, 
Well, I moved, sorry, yeah, but this guy's just in 18 of these for his Ecto gun. And these guys advance, are pretty much an advance across the board apart from the Dreads and the Sakarin. I did spend two CP to prepare positions, which I didn't cover before, just to try and deny that first strike, because if we're picking each other's cards, this could be a very low scoring game. I think so. Because as much as it is friendly, Michael's a really good player. And <laughs> he's literally going to, whatever I draw, I'll be like, right, I can't score anything. I know even if you say a friendly game, you can't not pick the cards, can't you? You'd be like, yeah, bring a friendly army. A fun list. I think it's gonna. I'm still looking forward. I think it's gonna be brutal but fun. So no psychic phase. I'm gonna go straight into some shooting. Obviously, pop smoke, pop smoke here. No guns are gonna be available here. Or for the cultists, I don't think. So it's where you want to start, really. Uh, well, we'll just start with the uh, start with this contempt. I'll just put everything in here. Uh, this unit down here. Yeah. So do the ectoplasm cannon first. Yeah. So two shots hitting on twos. It's a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Ones on mortals. No mortals, both hit. Uh, yeah. Strength eight. So T five, three to wound. Three to wound. <laughs> oh no, no wounds. wounds. Then we'll do the same with the butcher cannon. So yeah. It'll be a, uh, three to hit because he moved. It's heavy. Uh, yep, so three hits, three again. So that two, two. It, so that's minus, minus one, one so which three. negated, so three up. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good. good. So then he'll do the same thing. So it's just these butcher just cannons, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. the out of range. So that's three hits. Three hits. Three's again. Oh, two again. Yeah. Two so wounds. same again, two three, three ups. ups. Oh, I feel both this time. It's the, what's the damage? It's damage two, two, isn't it? So it'll kill one. You know I'm going to CP one of them. Yeah, it's probably Yep, so yep. one's good, one's going to die. On a three up, you'll be able to come back and shoot because yep. he's within range of the banner. So he does, so yep. we'll see what he's going to shoot at in a second. So I'm going to take this one, he is in range of the spawn unit. So he's going to pump all his guns, and he didn't move in the previous turn, so he's going to get a double shot. Yep. We'll be re-rolling ones because he's within range of this guy. I'll do it off camera. Do the hits and wounds off camera, it's a lot of dice, isn't it? So, so I'll roll the two grenades, see how many extra shots he gets off on here. Right, so he's got an extra 8 plus 12, so 20 shots. So that guy managed to put 6 wounds on the spawn unit. Oh, that's a good save though. Yeah, he's saved. No, no deaths, just one just down Just one down to one wound, yeah. Pretty good. Right, so I think it's the Sakaran, isn't it? Yeah, I just uh, might do this off camera when I ask you some questions about the history. Alright, okay, he's going to ask about these guys. Right, so he's asked these questions, he's not going to shoot at these guys. He's going to pump everything with a... So Corrin into these guys, so do you want to start with the... Yeah, I think I'll start with the big gun. That's eight shots. So this is an assault weapon, so no minuses here, so threes, we roll and ones for the Lord. Yeah, perfect. No twos. Two twos. Three twos. Yeah, three twos. <laughs> we roll the ones. It's nice, they all hit. Threes again. It's not a great, so that's... Three. Three up with the... Yeah, three at minus one, but yeah, so we ignored it with a strap. Oh, two go through, two damage each, so that's the other two gone. Yeah. I've used my CP yeah. to the shoot. They both do. We'll do that off camera again. Obviously, we're just going to come into the spawns, but that is first strike. Yeah, rest of the guns are wasted. Well, wasted, yeah. So it was a pretty, pretty good wound roll. Yeah, I don't even know how many he's got. Michael's got a dice for the hand. 18, did you say something there? I don't know. I just didn't know. Tenny said three or yeah. four. I put a dice on there. So we're looking for fives, isn't it? Fives and all the so... So dead. one was one's on a wound. Dead. Another one's dead, another one's dead, and one's on three wounds. So wow. So that was the one who was on one last time, so three down and one down the one. Yep. So we've got a... down three. Three wounds. And with that, I think that is the end of the shooting phase, isn't it? So a bit, a bit of a blow to lose the aggressors, but to be fair, that's what they were there to clear out chaff and stuff, so... And I think against two Contemptors and a Sakaran, they were pretty much yeah. gone as anyway, weren't they? That's why I spent the two CP to give them a chance. So I think you get the... You're not scoring anything extra, roll defend cards, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've got defend four. Which one was two was around no, down here yeah. and three's up there. So you started to defend four. Are you ditching any cards? I think I'll ditch the one that's over there. Which three. Is six. Is it three. Three. I think three's up. This is two. I think this is three. I'll ditch two. Where they with it? Aye, because this is five. I'll ditch two. Yeah. yeah. So ditching that one. Right. So I'm going to draw my cards and you get the pick. <laughs> you get to pick which ones I want. So I'll pass the camera over. Yeah. Do you want us to shuffle the deck again or keep it as it is? No, I trust you do. Sorry about the things yeah. in the way of the. Uh... First one is defend one or defend five. 
I'll, the size uh, where the Thunderfire cannon is. I'll make you defend one because underneath the Sakoran. One's underneath the Sakoran, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, mission critical, so roll a d6. Oh, my d6. Who would you do that before or after you choose? Five. five, which is down by your end. Fire cannon yeah. So mission critical five, Four. or no mercy is kill a unit or uh, fail a morale check. I'll uh, give, let you have no mercy. No mercy? Yeah. So that one, so keep that out of the way then, because it's ditched. This is going to be a good turn, not? <laughs> Secure four, which is the middle, and no prisoners, which is obviously killed. Something. Secure four, please, Steve. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> come, come to the Comas Eggers. Big game hunter. I yeah. think that may be getting ditched and behind enemy lines, which I can't obviously score this turn, so I can't drop any. Uh, yeah, I'll give you behind enemy lines, please. Very nice. <laughs> I said, no, like, you draw some good cards. I like it though. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like, no, you're going to struggle. To... Uh, right, we'll try and remember what these are, and we'll move into my movement phase and come back. It's going to be an interesting one, this, I think. Go for a team. So we've covered the movement. These guys have stayed still. We've done the psychic phase as well. We attempted a mind raid and a smite. We got the smite off and did two mortal wounds. Mind raid failed. I was going to use the curse, but like I said, no good units are in range to stop, which is the half the movement charge advance. So if there was some berserkers out on the table, I would definitely give that a shot. And this dreadnought just backed off so you can see that rhino and that rhino. This one sidestep, so like line of sight on that guy. The intercessors have moved round. Obviously, I've got to do something about four. There's a rhino and ten guys in there. These just, I think the banner stayed still and he shuffled up. And these guys have stayed still. So, we're going to go into the shooting maturity phase. Do I just sacrifice? How many wounds has your dude got on there? See, D3 damage a time. The snipers could get him. Could. You think they can do it, do you? I don't. <laughs> So I tell you what, we'll start with the, these rhinos are minus one hit because they pop smoke. So I'm gonna have to. The thing is the contempt as well. Oh, brutal. Right, anyway, this one's going all guns blazing into the rhino. So do two last cannons. So he's hit once because he moved, because he's venerable. And we've got the missile launcher. He's hit. So I can't re-roll any because none failed, even though I did fail. Yeah. So then we've got the Last kind of wounding on a three. I'm going to re-roll that one, so it doesn't wound. And then, and then the missile, missile launcher on a three. That does wound. Minus, minus, minus two, two yet. Yeah. Oh, he saved. Corn protects. Right, this one's going to have to do all guns into it as well. So twin last cannon again. Threes because he moved, so they both hit that time. Space twos. He's venerable. Oh, threes fours. You're right. Ah, you're right, right, right. So that's one hit. And I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. This is the storm bolter. So I can re-roll that one because it's the only miss technically for the Storm Bowler. Um, yeah. That hits because it's not heavy. Yeah. And then we'll roll the wound with the last cannon. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll that one. Oh God, nothing. No. Oh, I've whiffed the corner for one. <laughs> that was big. That's, yeah, that's, I needed to pop that rain on, it's not going to happen now. Um, right, I need to have a think because there's not many other choice targets now. Hmm. Well, the spawn are an option as well. True. Because they're all my saves five, isn't it? There's a six. So technically on minus one, they'll be back down at six, and they're easy out of wound. You're right. These will be shooting down there, so. Do that first, and then. Yeah, I'll do that there, and then we'll decide with the Thunder Fire because these guys didn't move, so we're doing. That's the bigger squad, so it'll be 12 shots. I'll just do a normal bolt round with a grenade, not a grenade. So I'll get some dice ready and see how many hits we'll get down here. So we'll be hitting on threes, wounding on threes, saving on sixes. Yeah. Right, okay. So the intercessors have hit with everything. Yeah, threes. Drop dice, I dropped that one, drop dice don't count. So I'll re-roll one of the failed wounds because of salamanders. So there's some whiffy rolls again. So three, six, seven. Seven, seven saves of a six. Right, easy. Easy. coming up. One. So that's six. That's six, six dead. Six. So their morale's going to be. Well, I've got a morale of six, haven't I? I think it's leadership six. Did C6 last time. Or you spend two CP, which you've got. Stop trying to play the <laughs> Right. Next, we're going to go with a Thunderfire Cannon. It's going to go. Actually, wait there, because I might have some dudes down here. See it. I'll have to see what you do. We'll have a look. Have a look for Lane a sec. 
So this unit, oh shaky, this unit's gonna split fire. These four guys can see this cultist down here, so they're gonna open up into there, and this one guy here can't, so he's gonna shoot the kill spawn. So nobody's in rapid fire. So we've got four guys. We'll reroll one of them, I think. <laughs> right, no hits. <laughs> and we've got the guy against the spawn. No, no hits. Right, those dice definitely. Hang on, you've not got a captain in there. Oh, aye. There was like at least two ones. Well, he rolled a one. That was the spawn, so he's missed again. And then there's two ones. So one hit. Doesn't wound, but I can re-roll a wound. Does wound. One more save. It's probably the worst shooting phase I think I've ever done. It's been horrendous. Oh, so that's another one there. Probably going to move the guy down and see. Uh, nah. Right, so what we're going to do then, we are going to do the Thunderfire Cannon. The Tech Marine might be able to see this right now, I don't know, we'll have a look in a second because they're separate units now. So 43 shots, I would like a lot please. Seven. These are the last few guys. Last few guys, hitting on threes, re rolling ones because the captain's still within range. And strength five, so I'm not using any strats, so threes to wound. Uh, yeah. So three at minus one. Yes, yeah, so three sixes. Coming up. One's one. alive. Captain is alive. Is there still one alive, is there? Yeah. Right. We'll have to see what this guy can see. Because he's got the full harness, like the bolt gun and plasma cutter and all that stuff. So the Tech Marine did get a bolt to hit on this guy, didn't cause any wounds. The banner, who didn't move, the captain moved in, the banner didn't move, is gonna do two shots into the last cultist down here who you can see. <laughs> so threes re-rolling one. Oh. You can re-roll one miss. Yeah, yeah, because all my Oh, can you, you can't reroll a reroll. Do you want to change your dice with it? No, I keep them, keep them the good some games, bad this game obviously. I'll tell you what, the captain's going to go with the same target. So, two, because his is the assault. The one. Assault two weapon, two hits, strength four. Got one wound, reroll a field wound, two wounds, no minus on this one, but it's two damage, five ups. Oh, do you CP it to keep the unit alive? No, no, I was going to die. I think I was going to spend all this shit on them. Well, yeah, because you have to CP it, then two CP it. Three CP. But literally, they've eaten six, five, these two guys, Thunderfire cannons worth of shots. That's ridiculous. That's when you know it's going to be a hard day at the office. Right. Unless you do something magic with these and snipe it, man. I tell you, I'm gonna have to measure range because I don't know. I don't think if those bolters are in range of the spawn, I might be able to get rid of those because there's not enough air to pop a rhino, definitely. So we'll have to have a look. So these guys are gonna open up into the spawn. Uh, two shots on an unmodified roll of a six, it'll auto wound. So we've got no auto wounds. We can re roll one of the dice. I'm continuing the trend of ones and twos. Yes. We're looking for fives. That's not bad though, that's yeah, three, three so far. Up. Three wounds. No AP on this. No AP. So that's three, so I killed a wounded one. Whichever, so that leaves one spawn left. I think the librarian's in range of a pistol on that rhino, which we'll do off camera. And then actually we'll save him. But we're gonna I tell you what, he's there, isn't he? That's what the snipers are for. Let's shoot the let's shoot the warlord. I don't know what this does. So it's, I'm hitting on there's no negatives, is he? No, not So I'm hitting on threes, I'm doing the hyper D3 damage round. So I can re-roll this one. So we've got a full round of hits. A roll of a six will be a mortal wound in addition, so I'm looking for three sixes. What's the wound? I, don't, I think it's even strength four, I don't even think I've wounded. Yeah, so we'll re-roll one of those, we'll re-roll a two, two or two, so no wounds. That's a big, big whiff turn, that one, by the Space Marines. Um, let's do the bow pistol from the guy, he's hit. It's the Rhino. Nope, no wounds, so that literally is the end of it. Are oh, we're going to do some charges. Are we going to do some charges? <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to jump into the lead two, three, one here, aren't you? Yeah. Right, the intercessors are going to charge a yeah. rhino. Uh, right. So you can do some overwatch. Yeah, four stones on the shot. Nothing. Nothing. Let's see what distance we get. We need big. That should do it. Yeah, the Warlord's going in as well, why not? It's been one of those games, I think I'm going to either get smashed in. Seven should get him in, I think. We'll measure it up. Banner guy, he's kind of gone in and all. We'll move Warlord first. Yeah, we'll move dude. We'll just we'll see what he gets. Seven and seven. Right, so I think there's some Ravage able to go on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the... It doesn't really matter, does it? Nah, I'm not going to interrupt you. I don't think so with the Rhino. So I'll start with this guy, because I need to get... 
round here because the furthest he can get is like here. So start with this guy, so you move three inches to there, and then I'll do his attacks. So we'll do them off camera and I'll do his on camera because he's got the yeah, burning so blade. We'll yeah, we'll do this on camera. So pull them all up so the burning blades only cause one wound. Yeah. Obviously strength plus two, so six. Yeah, yeah I, I rolled the extra attack as well. Minus silly, silly minus five, so it goes straight through. And then we caused, we actually caused a shed load of wounds with the intercessor squad, I think. Yeah, you've got, you've I think it was got, five uh, or six. six. You've got six well, he, normal. Yeah, uh, he did two and they did four. And yeah, then. I mean, you've mapped this couple a little bit. Yeah, he's going right, so I'll do the power sword so, save yeah. off the sergeant. So power sword on a six. Nope, nope. so, so he's down to eight wounds. And then these boys. So none, so he's down to eight wounds, but importantly that does stop him because these are troops that will stop him defending four. Stop the Zerk, that's getting out. And it stops him getting out, yeah, because that tank can't go anywhere. Because, yeah. well, well. So like we are saying before, it was like, I didn't really want to do it, but having, to, having such a bad no, turn, that was a good tactic. that's had to happen, didn't it? So, yeah. to be honest, if I had a better turn, I wouldn't have done that. No, no. I'd have maybe sacrificed the two points to have bodies on the field, but... If you didn't do it, you would have had two squad observers in the alliance, and then I think it's pretty much... Well, they're, they're dead this turn. Or close to, they're dead. They should be, but you've got the boss... I think they're still dead, and it's more them what I can do after that. Exactly. But they're not super dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, where was one? Well, I haven't done that. Behind enemy lines, I haven't done. Secure four, I have done, because I'm troops. So I'll get as a point. And no mercy, no respite. I did kill the... Cultists. One enemy unit was destroyed. So I will secure four, get a point for no mercy and a point for first strike. So I'm on three points. You don't defend any other ones yet, do you? No, I don't defend out that one because it's took Yeah, and I'm going to ditch defend one. So three points to. No, I forgot. What? Rhino fights back. It does, so who are you going against? The so warlord? If I kill a marine. <laughs> if you kill a marine, you can get out. Right, so three attacks on the um, uh, intercessors. Yeah. Uh, one hit. Does wound, but you can't kill a marine, thank yeah. God. Yes, yeah, so you know what it is? I was going to be, you bet you wound one. <laughs> so he saves, so that's good. Talking three to one, is that right? Three to one. Going into turn two, so Michael has to draw another couple of cards. Just one. Right, so one card to draw, he's still got three in his hand. Which, Which one now? And scour the skies. I'm going to let you keep scour the skies for this turn. Right, I've got okay, no fly units on the board. Yeah, because that's like as uh, going to meet Khan. Exactly, yeah. that dude is definitely coming face to face with a living legend very soon. Um, you might have some work to get through to him, but that's easy work for Khan. Yeah, yeah. Right. Movement. I think the movement's going to be very quick for Michael here, but we'll come back. There's going to be a lot of red bodies populating this area, I think. And a lot of dreadnoughts and dudes around here. Right. Terrified now. So these guys are definitely living on borrowed time. Obviously the rhinos stayed still locked in combat. The two contempt as have marched up. And these guys have just moved forward. The Lord advanced but he can advance and charge. So no shenanigans there. Before this moved here, everybody got out. So Khan's up here. There's two berserkers here and the rest are sort of daisy chained around here. And Sakarin's so hopped from over here, down in here to get some line of sight, I think, on the dread maybe. And that's that's it. That's it. So, so we'll start with the uh, we'll start with Sakar. Yeah. I'll do it. Uh, never even before use blacksmith machines. Oh, so you're doing moving shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So one one point blacksmith machines. Right. So everything at that will start with last cannons. Hit on uh, this one, yeah. Yeah. That one. yeah. Hit on threes, two lasers. One hit, one miss. One wound. There's a wound. Um, I'm alright. I'm I'm fine. Yeah. Fine, thank you. So, uh, save a six, yeah. No, goes through. Six. Oh, oh my god, man. Sorry, man. Right, I need to find my dice. Right, so we've got six venerable saves on a six. So we do block two, so he's took four. Not bad, down to four wounds. Uh, no wounds. No wounds. I didn't get the heavy bullet hit there, but he, all, he rolled all sixes. That was horrific. And then here come the auto cannons. So we're on four wounds. Auto cannons are coming in hot. I think he's hit with everything. Um, forced to wound, strength so 7 T7. Yeah. Yeah, so five so forced to wound, six to wound. So, so it takes seven wounds first, isn't it? So we've got four at minus one. We've got four minus one. So four, four ups. Right, so I've dropped one, so that's two damage. Yeah. Of which I save one, so I'm down to three. And then three, six ups. And three, six ups, because it wounded on sixes. So save one, and then it's two damage still, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that, he's lost all three. Does he go kabooey? 
he doesn't. So that's a dreadnought down. I'm, su I'm surprised he survived. I know he died from the shooting, but from the first last cannon's hit, so I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, I should be rolling like that. What's going on? No. Right, well then, uh, this dread will shoot through with the other one. Yeah, going through with the dread. So he's uh, yeah. plasma yeah. master. Two hits. Four hits. Strength eight, so two wounds. So two wounds, minus, three, minus two three, so two saves of a six. No, and two damage. No, so he's took four, so he's down to four. It's not a good start for this dread. Put your cannon. Right. Three stars. Two, two minus, minus one. one, two four ups. Oh, he needs to make one of these, he does. Two damage, isn't it? Yeah, so. Nope, it's down to two. I'll just quickly check the range of the other. I think you should just be in with 18. What I'll do is, just in case I take a mortal, we'll start. Is that in or not? Yeah, 18, he's definitely in. We'll start with the butcher. Yeah. In case it does the job. Two misses. One wound. wound. Do it. Oh. Actually, I haven't seen Pete yet, have I? To be honest, he's pretty much dead though, isn't he? But it's your last shooting in this phase, so I might as well. Uh, minus one field. Still goes through. Two damage. Nah, he's gone. Does he blow up? He does. I should have kept it for that. D3 on that guy. Um, well, he's dead, because he's got two wounds. And there's a wound on the gun, which is dead, because the guy's gone. Yeah, it's not a good day at the office for the Marines. I think these will just be out of six, but I'll measure. So Khan's plasma pistol going into these guys. It's on a two with a reroll. Does He's hit. hit. Always overcharged. He yeah. snapped the button. Let's it go normal. Wounds on twos. Yeah. It does wound. Now, weirdly, you still get cover and cover when you're against people. So five up. Can I make some saves, please? Nope. Um, it's two damage over to us. That's one dead. Let's take away this guy because Khan's going to come running into them anyway in a minute. So we'll just shoot those two plasma pistols, not on overcharge. Yep. Yeah, so hit on threes. Hit on threes. Just one. Just on one. Again, five up. Oh, made that one. Yeah. That's pretty much it. They can't really see up. So it's charging. Rhino? Do not see anybody? Uh, oh, well, they have actually killed everything. That's yeah. not in combat. So that's it. We'll just move the charges. Okie dokie. So. Who do you want to start with? I'm guessing the Berserkers. We'll start with the Berserkers on the um, charge. These four, we'll charge all three. Every unit, yeah. yeah. Right, I tell you, I'll roll these yeah. on camera, because six is just so people can see are like auto wounds. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think I'm going to get any. This is a turn where I need to roll like an absolute legend. Yeah. Um, so we've got eight guys now. Looking for sixes. These would be beautiful. Drop dice don't count, that was a six as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reroll one because I'm a salamander. So I've got one auto wound yeah. and no minus. So one, two up because you're in cover. Right. Yep, yeah, you're good. And you're, you're all in cover as well, so you definitely get it. Um, yeah, I'll do the other ones off. Shall I do the snipers? As well. Big shot. Yeah, the one whichever's got the best minus on the shot I'm going to go for. Um, nope, no hits. You can reroll one though. Oh, you can, correct. Uh, nope, no hits. And I might as well chuck a crack grenade. Uh, oh, he hits. Does wound. Yeah, yeah. Minus, Minus one, so a three up. Hey! Lose a berserk on the way in. Now we'll see how many of these guys you tag. You should be able to get everybody, I think. Yeah, well, no, because. It depends how much room you want to leave for corn, really. That's your only dilemma, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. We'll see where you go anyway. Do you want to do some. Right, move them in, move them in. Right, so, didn't even get it on camera, Michael rolled an 11 inches for his charge of the Berserkers anyway. So the first ones are like open around, so he's basically his Berserkers are in contact with these and these, but not the Librarian. And Khan then went in, obviously did overwatch with the Librarian again and missed. And he's in with the Librarian and the other unit. So yeah, everybody's dead. <laughs> Down here you've got some, I can't do any overwatch, so it's basically just so wherever you want to go. Seven, so we Move these yeah, dice for the rhino, he'll just pop straight in. Spawn going straight in as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think unless five. you get snake eyes, yeah. it's pretty much an auto win. Oops. Now we'll do this contender against your uh, warlord. Yep. Ooh, well, I think that might be out. We'll that might be out, but I'm, there's a CP going to come. If these dice are true. Yeah, see these dice, he did make it in, we'll just... We'll re-roll the charge against the, uh, the banner bearer, the banner, yep. to see if the dice are cursed for me as well. Yeah, it's a feel. That looks like a feel. Pretty bad, that's what we've got there. Four. Four. Yeah, okay, so I'll re-roll that one. Command point, re-roll yeah, that one. three and a one. Oh, yeah, he's 
This could be a nasty turn, could be a very nasty turn. Right, I think that's everything that can charge that has charged. The tank, the tank can't reach anybody. Yeah, I think where we'll start is we'll start with Khan. Yeah, good choice. Yeah. So, is he going all into the librarian or is he splitting? No, I think for his first round he'll just chuck everything at the librarian. So, he's six attacks plus one, blow the axe. Hits on a two, no rainbows. So, that's just a miss. It is strength, but it's a three to wound, whatever it is. It's, well, he's only taken four normal marine, yeah? Yeah, so three to wound. So he's wounded four times, four times like but it's minus four. Minus four. So we've got no save and it's D3 damage, isn't it? D3 damage each. So yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. He kills the librarian. So it's going to be the rest of them. So what do you interrupt if you want to? Well, you know what? I probably normally wouldn't, but I think to try and save something, I'm going to have to. Yeah. It but it's, it's going to be down here somewhere, I think. Because they're not going to have enough attacks to outweigh anything. And like I said, even if these do an amazing job, you take them off the bottom, they're still in combat, they can attack twice. So. Two attacks they're okay, they're okay. Well, what I was thinking, I might even these, and I don't know what the Warlord save is, but there's a power sword in there and two attacks each way. is BT5. It's going to be five to wound, I don't know. Yes, it's like... Not a hard place really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, realistically, it's probably going to have to be the Warlord trying to save himself. So I think that's... It's the only thing really... Can do, well, so though, just before you make the choice to come camp, let's have a four in run in combat. I know. So it's like, the, he's literally, it's, there's no good choices, but if I can manage to cause wounds on it, I can degrade it. Yeah. That's the only advantage. Yeah. So, do I want to? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to have command points and nobody left alive on us. Yeah, so <laughs> I may as well. So we'll interrupt with this guy. So we have five attacks, so I didn't charge. Yeah. We're looking for twos on the contempt that I can reroll one of them, so they all hit. So we've got two, we've got three wounds. Yeah, three, four of in ones. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drop them all. I don't know, does that drop you, Black uh, Seven, I don't think so. No, I think it's one off. That was seven, yeah. Flip a shot. Are we going to do the thing where he fights again when he dies? Might not. That's two CP, I might do, yeah. Right, do you want to go to the block here? I tell you what, I think people know what Corn Berserkers do, don't we? So yeah. we'll roll them off camera because they've all got basically. There's a three. On the, on the, on the first round, they get got three, three got attacks. Three. And the strength six because of the chain axes at minus one. We'll roll up so many wounds again yeah. and then we'll come back with the saves of any other. I'll tell you what, we'll do, we'll do Corn's second attack on camera. So uh, yeah, he can just wheel into them, can't he? So yeah, he can just wheel into them on his second attack. So it's only six this time because the plus one's only on the first on round. On the first round, yeah. yeah so two's again. Five hits. Two, threes or twos, he's strength three, seven. No, so three go through, so that's three. D3, well, you have to do one this time. One dead, two dead. Two, two dead and one left on a wound. Yeah. So, so we're going to do the berserkers. Four berserkers on them. On them, and, and there's two chunk. going on the top. So yeah. let's do it off camera and then we'll come back with the wounds because it's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. Right, so after all that carnage and attacking twice miraculously, the sergeant's alive. Yeah. Um, I think Michael missed his first round, all the power fist attacks missed, but then the second one, they all hit. And I think I made two or three six up saves, which, which helped. So we're going to attack back, he gets three attacks, he's hit all three times. Can he wound him? Yeah, can reroll one of them, but he's got one wound, can he take a marine with him? No, he can't. So he'll be alright for morale, the other squad's dead. We've got some combat to do down here as well. This one has four attacks, yeah. plus one on the charge for Will Dita, because he gets it now, and plus one for the Warlord trade six. Yeah. So got it. It's on threes, because it's a... Uh, Gun the hammer, we roll on ones. Do on ones, or hit. Oh, nasty. Twos. Strength, strength ten. Ooh, nasty, nasty. Very so nasty. Six, six, six sixes. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you wipe the squad. Yeah. Right, we'll save two. So he cannot wipe the squad yet. No, because I D3 four times. Oh, it's three for a fun number, isn't it? So four. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out one, two, three, four, and leave a sergeant down here. So it should mean the spawns attacks yeah, are going to be wasted. Fight, which is good because I have to look at the random thing. Yeah, <laughs> see what it gets minus APs and all that junk. Good, good, thank you. Right, so then we'll do uh, 
do this one temp up at home. You get a free, you get to move him, don't you? You get a pile in now because he's uh, done his attack. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. He'll then get a three inch move, then a pile in if you want to activate no, the spawn. Yeah, but I, think I'm, I think I'm happy because I don't think you can get him anywhere. Yeah, well, he's still got to defend four card anyway, haven't you? So if you get it at the end of my turn. I'll just leave him where he was on top yeah. there. Put him to the side, he's going to fall off. Uh, we'll do the contempt up against that. So four against the, the warlord or the banner dude? The warlord. The warlord, yeah. Plus one because he's a world leader. Yeah. It's on a two still because he's uh, not degraded enough. Yeah, he's a nasty piece of work. They all yes, hit. They all hit. Um, we haven't been doing this either. Is this a mortal wound? No, it's because it's a... Uh, oh, yeah. death of the false emperor. Yeah. Well, you wiped all the other squads, I think, so... He, the power fist couldn't get it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's minus one. So an extra, yeah. yeah. Twos. Yeah. Six at minus three. Uh, minus three. Oops, because he's a, an invun. So that would be him dead. Nine damage. He's definitely dead. This is not, this is not so bad. Well, the game's going out sometimes, don't they? Like, yeah. So we'll do it over here, five attacks for that one, yeah, banner. One, six, another six. Think all hits, yeah. Twos, five. Uh, minus three, isn't it? Yeah. We'll let it demon, yeah. Nice. Yeah. See, he did save two, so he could survive. That's flat damage, isn't it? Flat, flat three, yeah, he's dead. If it was D3, he had a chance. And then the Rhino. And then the Rhino, can it kill a Marine? Nope. Nope. So the Marine, he can't go anywhere, he's touching the Marino, so he'll go his attacks back. Reroll one of them, one hit. Can he wound on a five? Rerollable. Re nope, no wounds. The only thing left to do is he gets back a wound on a five for killing yep. him. Oh, of course. And he needs to take a morale check. He's good. Yeah, uh, yes, because that's a smaller score, wasn't it? Yeah. So he's lost four, seven. That was a nasty brutal turn. Yeah, I think I've only got like the squad left on the board. <laughs> I've got two squads to drop in in the left ten, but it's not good. It's definitely not. I think it's going to be a game that's turn two. It's a game of hide and seek now, I think. Yeah. So your cards anyway. If you just score, you've I'm got to lay the wall. Score four, two turns in a row. Yeah, you've got. So you started to score four now. Yeah. But the um, blood and guts. Uh, I can get more D three. Yeah, three units. Yeah. So two, two points for blood and guts. What was the other one? Uh, or Scour the Skies. Scour the Skies, yes. Yeah, so. so you're ditching any of those cards? To be honest, you're on three. Um, you're on four for defends. Nah, I think I'll uh, let's defend three. No, I'll keep defend three. I'll keep scours, keep them all. Yeah, so I mean you're on, you've got a, now you've got a good hand. For the frunzies, yeah, which can't kill the character. Let's uh, let's do the, the boon. Alright. Let's play command point do the boon. Who's doing the boon? Right. It'll be calm. You do <laughs> you, have, you have to kill a um, a character. You have to kill a character. Can, uh, it has to be an infantry model. Uh, I'll read it because it's a could do it. <laughs> yeah. Don't feel like you have to just because your no, table no, is. No, I want to. Use a strategy oh, and fight phase which one of your characters and slays an enemy character vehicle or monster. Go 2v6 and let it up. Go on then. So, Carl is a 7. Go to 8, sorry. Subtract one from the top of the there you go. And so now he's even harder to hit, which would be fantastic. <laughs> so with that, I tell you what, let's draw my cards and see what I get. But this is going to be a very uphill battle now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got behind enemy lines still from last turn. So the two from now are Blood and Gut, which is kill something in the fight phase, or do a morale check. Uh, keep a morale check. And I'll keep, keep the... Uh, Blood and guts, because that's what Corn would want. Okay. <laughs> we'll get a bit fluffy now. And because of the chance. Yeah. It's a QR1 or kill a character. Uh, I'm just going to random it because Corn doesn't care anymore. Well, so it's the one nearest me. Whatever I want that one is. It's a QR1. Yeah. You want to keep, yeah? Yeah. You get rid of kill a character. And then the last one is priorities for my warlord. Mm -hmm. Which is dead. Yeah. We'll just choose the other one. What's the other one going to be? Which would be that. So then you draw another one. To be secure six. Right, you can have secure six. Right, okay. doesn't care. Much. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got secure one, six, blood and guts, and behind enemy lines. I think realistically, I can score one. I think six is where you'll put this. So I could probably score both three points, but then I'll get tabled anyway. So let's let's see what I can do. Let's see what you can do. Remember, you don't lose if you get tabled. I know, but I don't think I can score much past you anyway. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Right, so my movement, like it's a best of bad situation. They've dropped in for behind enemy lines and secure one. Uh, 
Um, the guy stayed locked and come up with a Rhino because there's no good choice to fall out. This squad's dropped in here to secure six. The lieutenant's dropped in just next to them. Stay within six, but also within a nine inch charge of the spawn. Trying to just maximize my cards for blood and guts behind enemy lines. I could literally, hopefully, score all my cards, and then it's a case of trying to make you get terrible cards, I think, and seeing what happens. Because after this turn, after you turn around and shoot stuff, I'm literally going to have nothing left. Oh, sorry, there's this squad. Let's have a thing I want to do with these. And then we'll see, because they're not going to hinder anything around there. And they all see the dreadnoughts. You know what? They can see the dreadnoughts. I'm just going to stay still and shoot. So we're going to go into the sight phase, which is past. We're going to go into the shooting phase. I'm going to shoot my pistol at the rhino. He's hit because he can reroll. Doesn't wound. Does wound the rhino. There you go. He's put a wound. He shot the driver. <laughs> this is the turn. I can feel it. I want to shoot my pistol. Actually, yeah, let's check, they've got pistols. Right, so they do get both pistols. So we're hitting on the three, re-rolling, because he's Salamander's so wounded on the four. Yep, he's wounded a, a dude. No, he survived. Right, that's the easy guns done. Right, down here, we're going to shoot a crack grenade at the wounded Contemptor, and then all the rest of the bolt guns at it as well. Didn't move, so rapid fire. It's going to be ten shots, because it's a six-man squad. And then the, we'll do the crack grenade. Hits. Whoa, doesn't wound, I'll re-roll that one. Uh, doesn't wound because it's T7. Right, we'll get a load of bolt rounds as well. Yep, so four wounds with the bolt rifles at minus one. Uh, three, three. That should knock them down. Down to yeah, five. Yeah, knock them down. Yeah, down to five. Get rid of that okay. Right, so we'll move on because those guys are in range to shoot them as well. So let's just keep going for the injured target. So 18 shots. So I'm gonna have to get my hands on some more dice. Can you get them, well, lad? Right. So these guys hitting on threes. I can reroll a miss. Yeah. Wounding on. Five, so I can reroll ones and a failed wound. Go for it. So I reroll that one. So they miss. And we're looking for lots and lots of wounds. Come on. Yeah, I can reroll the ones anyway for the lieutenant. It's not what I was so wanting to do. <laughs> I reroll one of the normal ones for Salamander, so there's two wounds. It's four wounds at minus one. And that one? Well, That's not bad. I'm like, better than I was hoping for. Well, not hoping for, I was hoping for a whitewash. But... Four, yeah. Four at minus one, yeah. One more. Yeah. Yeah, just one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check the lieutenant's gun just to see. Because I don't want to kill the spawn. I think it's two damage. No, I've got to shoot the spawn because I, I need to kill it in combat. But I'm thinking if it's wounded. I get a better chance, so I'll double check his gun and his range, and we've got this squad down here left to fire as well, but that's about it. Right, so it is two damage, but we're going to go for it, so we'll hit on threes, so we'll hit twice, a we'll wound on T4 spawn, is it? T5. Five, so five's to wound, we roll on one of them. Well, that was the one, sorry, because he's a lieutenant, so I'll re-roll that one. So we do get one wound, which is what I wanted, no negatives, but it's two damage. Yep, so it's only two wounds, that's what I wanted. It's going well, and then we'll just have to have a look. You know what? I don't think they can do enough to us calling to like even make it work. Oh, you have to shoot the uh, I really don't want to go because they're in cover. They're still going to get three up armor. There's a calling if I wound it, I'll get a four up. But if it turns around, they're dead. Whereas the berserk has might have to come down, and then I'll get some Overwatch. I'm going to shoot the Sakaran. so I'll get a bucket load of dice again. Go. Right, I re-roll one of them for being a salamander. Yes. And we're looking for fives and sixes. Yeah, go for it. That's See another bad. couple. Let's have five. Yeah, and then one for being a salamander. Nope. nope. So we have five wounds at minus one. So five four ups. Can we strip five wounds off this guy? That would be beautiful. I still don't think it'll be enough to knock it down, but no, I've made it worse that. Three wounds off it, that'll do. That'll do. I think that's it for my shooting. Oh, so charges, like I said, the only one really. Oh, nah, too far away. I was thinking, oh, do I charge this corner? I need to score one. I was thinking like crazy suicide moves to stop the shooting. Right, the lieutenant needs a nine. You know what, I have to re-roll it, I think. I've got to use a command point at this stage. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's in. That knocks me down to five CP. I'm going to have loads of CP and nobody left to use it on. Right, so let's start with the lieutenant. Right, so we're going to hopefully end this spawn. So we hit on two, sixes, I'll count as double hits. I'll re-roll that, because I'm Salamander. 
So no double hits, but we've got four hits. We got one wound, and I'll reroll that one for me to Salamander. Not adding any ones, threes and twos. Just one wound. One wound. And his knife is just one damage. It saves anyway. Oh no! Means you're gonna have to roll on the spawn table, unfortunately. Um, but I'll nominate my next one. Might as well do the the dude up there. Chanted killer berserker, I think, over a rhino. So three attacks, two hits, two wounds. He's knocked down. He's took a berserker down with him. Right. We'll let Michael talk back. What I'm going to do is probably remove him. Definitely him. Maybe even him. So D3 to see what it is. Two. Off the top of my head, I think that's the. I don't know. So it is the extra attacks. D6 plus two, he's going to get six attacks. I need to be dodging left and right here and up and down and all sorts. Only hit on a four. Real yeah. ones for the. For the Lord, yeah. No, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Strength five, minus two, two Reece, damage. Reese the wound. Yeah. Oh. Oh, five wounds. Yeah. Five, five, five okay. wounds, one for everyone he's got, and they're all double damage. So, looking for fives. Well, I've, I haven't used the CP yet, but they're all how many damage? Two, so he's dead. Be six damage either way. Even if I pass another, I need it to pass at least two. So, no, that's not going to get me blood and guts. Unfortunately, he is dead. It's not going well. It's not going well. Um, yeah. So you get to attack back up here. Yeah, do that or just do a pilot. Yeah, just roll, roll, roll as many dice as he want, I think, because um, <laughs> he's going to come nah, here. just them two. I think that's all it is, to be honest. Dude. Right, so uh, first round. Where's the power fist? Yeah, just do it all together. Do the power fist first, yeah. then, because he's like. Do both rounds together. Yeah, yeah. You're going to fight twice, aren't you? So. Yeah, so six from the power fist. Yeah. Uh, that is four hits. Twos. Three. Well, he makes a save, so 2d3 damage. Dead. Dead. So he's gone, so they'll pale down the floor onto the objective. They'll leave corn on the objective to score it. Um, oh, the sergeant. I've got the sergeant down here. Um, two hits, we roll him one. Three hits on the rhino. And no wounds on the rhino. So that's it, so the end of my turn, I will score behind enemy lines, I will secure six, and I will secure one, I'm going to, may as well keep a hold of blood and guts, so I think if you come in and I'm alive, miraculously, I may kill something, but we'll see, we'll see, so I think I scored three in the first turn, so it's six to... And because you defend card, yeah, so it's six to five, so I am winning. <laughs> if that looks like winning, <laughs> six to five is going to your turn three, so you'll need to draw some more cards. Go for it. You ready? It's a QR five. It's a QR four. So it's four or five. Well, four is in the middle. I'm going to have to pick five, which is down here, I think, down behind these crates. Right, so I have five. It's definitely doable. Something's going to get it. Secure three, or secure two. Well, two and three are over there, aren't there somewhere? That's two, I'll, I'll give you a secure two, which is where the intercessors are sitting. The intercessors are, so I'll have two. So that's it, isn't it? So you've got scour the skies, yeah. defend three, secure five and secure two. Yeah. Oh, did, he, he, did you get defend three? No, because I've only oh, just done it my round. Right, okay, and because I thought you would have an extra two points there. Right, so you started to defend three. Are you sure you didn't I, have a problem? I defended it in, in your turn, so at the end of my turn, I won't get it. Oh, right, get you. Because remember, I, killed, I only killed the guys. Ah, oh, to get close enough to it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's come back after the movement phase. So movement's done. This guy wiggled back so the rhino could get out. That guy's going over there to finish them off. Khan's told these guys to stay put because he's wanting some action. So they sort of stay put but followed a little bit. The Lord's gone this way to finish them off. Yeah. Scoring just pumped himself in the middle so you can literally see every unit that I've got left alive now. Spawn stayed still. This rain all oh, advanced on what set on five. I think that's it. So the only thing that fell out of combat was this, the rain all, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you got a full round of shooting ahead. Where do you want to start? Well, uh, 
Can you uh, air put these guns through the brim? Yeah, so the yeah, so I don't know if the plasma gun is in range. You should be going 80. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, definitely, yeah. There's two shots in the plasma blast stand. One's a mortal. Yeah. <laughs> two saloons. One. There comes one of the one. It's minus three, isn't it? Yeah, but minus so two. Should cover. Five up. Should cover. No. It's one dead. Oh, look. Sergeant's the closest. Schoolboy error. Butcher. Uh, only one hit. Only yeah. Two hits. Two. Hit on two. Oh, no, he's hit on three. Three now, yeah, then. Two hits. Oh, one hit, sorry, because he moved the knee. Nope. No wounds. He'll, uh, he'll do the same thing. He'll plasma up here and butcher over there. Butcher down here, yeah. So two plasmas up here. Uh, both hit, because yep. he hits on the twos. Both wounds. I think that's at least one save. Yeah, yeah one save, exactly. one's gone through. So yeah, one's dead. Um, I'll take... Let's that's take that one. Right yeah. Then... Uh, He's not going to shoot because he wants to fight. Okay, just see if this finishes them. Finish that squad. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do the big gun on the top first. Yeah. Please. That was an FF7 um, We've got a fly keyword. Alright, I'll plus one to hit them. So I think you've got at least another couple of hits there. Just put one back in. And then it's uh, sixes or bad please. So. So we've got two at minus one. So two, three, two three ups. So they both save and then one. Five. Minus three, so one five up. Yeah, so there's another one gone. Yeah. Take just take, I've already scored the six, so I may as well take him off. So I can't get him off. <laughs> That's why I took him off. So then there's the three heavy portal shots. So at least I'm going to have a bowler guy left, hopefully. Hopefully, so. Yeah. Two hits. Yeah. One wound. one wound. So one again, three up. Yeah, he's good. Two last guns on four. Oh, yeah, I forgot you had them. Oh, missed. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to have a guy left alive. I do look at him, but I'd say... Yeah, two last guns of brass. I think that's the, the guns that we're going to bar with. Yeah, so he advanced, he fell back. Yeah. Con not looks he's just outside of 12 for his plasma, is that? Yeah, he's outside of 12 for his plasma. Whew! Charges? Yeah. So he, he can't charge him he, now. No, he can't get up, can that's he? That's what I'll charge that roll. Right, so he's, we'll do the overwatch off camera, because I can't kill him. So... He's definitely in, yeah. Yeah, he's in, big up watching there. Yeah. Then we'll do... The load into them, guys. Yeah, which is with the ring roll as well. Yeah, he's definitely in. And I think that's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Right, so Overwatch is done. No hits down there. Two or three hits, two wounds or something. Past the armor saves. So where's Michael going to start? Should we get the content out of the way? Listen, I've got five command points. There's going to be nothing to spend them on, so I'll be interrupting <laughs> somewhere. Uh, we'll do it over there. So, so it gives it a chance to yeah. punch him in the face. Right. So it's uh, five attacks on the charge with a contempt. Oh, we'll that. Yeah. We're going to hit on a three now because he's a bit hit. Ooh. Three hits. Yeah. Two hits. Yeah. Two hits. Yeah. Two hits. Yeah. Three hits. Two's, Two's to four. pretty much kill. Just one. Just the one six up and he's it's, it's a flat three damage, though, isn't it? So. No. How many command points have I got? Five. Well. Let's reroll it. No, he's dead. So I'm down to four command points. Interrupt over here. Okay, leave his arm on. Yeah, we'll go down to two command points. We'll interrupt down there and throw some dice. Because I'm dead if I don't, so... Uh, we'll reroll one for Salamanders, so they all hit. Uh, fives to wound. Then reroll one. Just one. Can I even scrape it on the way in? No, because you've got three of armor. <laughs> So uh, when he goes in, it's so, six, yeah. five for his goal load and he's trying uh, yeah. to attack. Three, so the reroll of the wall. All hit. Oh. So yeah, he needs... Uh, yeah, Stunder Hammer, isn't he? He's ten, so they all wound. Well, all ball one, wasn't it? Five, so five, six ups. And uh, gone, squad's gone. Which leaves me with two CP. What can I spend two CP on? <laughs> Right. No morale checks. End of your turn. What do you score? Uh, we score secure objective five, I think. Which one's that one? Five is, yes. Your rhinos come and park on it, don't you? Five secure objective two. No. Is this one over here? No. So you haven't got that one. Scour of the skies. Yeah, you killed the unit with fly. I'm looking at them, they know they're still there, but yeah, you killed defend, the unit. Defend uh, objective three. Yes, yeah, so he starts at two, three, four. Would I get to do a fight? No, uh, yeah, yeah, your Rhino got it. Yeah. Yeah, so that is one, 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to me. Three, four, five, six. So you're winning ten six. Let's see what cards I get. Okay, I'm gonna draw some cards. Michael's gonna end my dreams. So priority orders. Is that? Yeah. Have I put that on the top? That was from last time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you've. Uh, wait there, wait there. We'll have a check. Yeah, I think I did. Right. Put that on the bottom. So priority orders, which I think I drew one after. Yeah, which was on another chapter. Yeah. So right, master the warp. Or supremacy. <laughs> well, whichever one you take, I've got no side guys and I've got two units. You can have supremacy. <laughs> I just can't care. even do it, I've got two units. <laughs> I know that's just to make it like even worse. Secure so five and two. Well, five's where your rhino is, you've got to pick that one. Yeah. Right, go on then, yeah. And then the last one, hold the line of death from above. I can actually do that because I've got a unit of fly. Go on then, we'll give you, see if you And hold the line I could do, but I can't have enemy units that only come out. We'll give you, see, see if that uh, intercept I can do something. He's got some work cut out for him. Maybe he's kill a spawn. Spawn. Maybe it's a target, he's, isn't it? We'll see. Great. <sighs> Paying for this, but let's see what we can do. Right. These Marines are having a very bad day. I forgot there's still 10 Berserkers in here, so what we'll try to do is screen off this wall as much as we can, because Michael's got secure too. Um, and then this jumpy dude has jumped over here. <coughs> Let's be honest, even if the Contemplar can't get him, that thing's going to gun him off the table. So he's got the fly keyword. There's a spawn with two wounds. He's got six ball rounds to see if he can kill it. If not, he can try and rush in, do a mortal wound, and do some attacks. I'm hoping it doesn't get that far. I'm hoping I kill it with a ball rounds. So what we're going to do, this guy is no even good target, is it right? These guys are going to put, I'm going to start with him, I'm going to the spawn. So we've got six rounds. Hit on threes because it's an assault ball. I'm going to reroll one dice. Um, wounds on fours. There's two wounds. Two wounds at minus one. I knew you'd get one. I knew you'd get one. I was going to say, I bet you get one, and I've got to go and do it in combat. Oh, dear me. Right, these are going to do grenade launcher at this guy and all the boat rounds at him. Um, so we'll do the grenade launcher. We'll Reroll the grenade launcher. Right, that's missed. So we'll keep it simple to. They'll be with 15 now. 3, 4, 5, 4, 5. Right, we'll rapid fire then. That many hit. I can reroll one of the failed wounds. One, two, three, five wounds. Five We're just seeing the bolt rifles are the are being in the like normal stuff. So he's dropped four, he's down to one. Oh. Only that grenade had gone through her. Yeah, he's on five before. I think they have, I think they're the only things that have hurt him. But they're not going for this right. Charge phase, I don't think I'm gonna fail. So I'm not gonna roll the distance, so I'm literally gonna turn it. I'll roll it, see if I do the mortal wound on a charge. I'm gonna command point it. <laughs> right, he's in, he's the sergeant. He's got three attacks. He's hit twice so far. He's hit twice. He's got one wound. I'm gonna use another CP. Oh, you don't have to, because it's so Oh, yeah. He's got one wound. That knocks me down. I use the command point, then I'm down to two. Dead. Dead. Oh, right, I'm going to sit on four because he's dead anyway, so he may as well have a little bit of glory. So, the end of my turn, I'll get death from above. Not secure in five. Not getting supremacy. Not, I'm going to keep blood and guts and I'm going to ditch supremacy. And we're going to your turn four, isn't it? And let's see. It's just waiting to die, I'm waiting for you to mop us up. Come on, you're taking too long, what's going on? I think you do it this turn. If you don't mop me up this turn, we'll call it a victory at the Salaman first. Right, <laughs> turn four. So Michael's two cards, King's here and Assassinate, you can keep Assassinate. Because King's here is going to just catapult into the lead. Big game hunter. You can keep big game hunter. So I've got no, nothing left. Defend five, had claim and despoil, which is taking objective off you, I think. Oh, well, look, sadly, I'm on objective four, but I'll tell you what, you can keep claim and despoil, because I think you're sitting on five with a rhino, which I kind of kill anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good D3 if you control objective, not that was controlled by your So basically, come and space. get my interceptors, yeah. intercessors, come and get my intercessors or the fly dude, 
I've got no carrot as you can kill anyway, and I've got no thingy, so you can score two. Yeah. I'm basically just trying to limit you. That one on as it's all I can do. Yeah. So movement phase is coming up. Should be a quickie. So this guy's hobbled up this way. As you can see, the chaos lords advance from here. Good speed, good choice of relics and stuff on him. Makes him a bit of a battering ram. Um, these guys have just stayed put. Stayed put. You know, you see, you ditch your domination card, you pretty much could get it. <laughs> um, so Corrin's moved forward, he didn't advance or anything. The Dreadnoughts move forward. The Rhino hasn't moved yet, so you can go and sit on number six if you want, and that will be. The overkill. Go and sit on number six, because that's what you would do if you were playing, playing properly, wouldn't you? So, so that's the. If that comes up, if I'm, if I'm alive and it comes up, and then we've got down there. So, shooting phase. Right. We'll, uh, have a little fun. We'll shoot a demon bolt at him. Demon bolt? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. if you miss, you go as D3 Mortal Wounds, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I can't the one. I do yeah. D3 to myself. If I hit you, I do D3 to you. Right, yeah. I do this many Mortal Wounds. Oh, he's alive on a wound. No, I'm going to command Rune Ru on it. Okie dokie. Yeah, he's alive on a wound. Oh, you took a wound as well, didn't he? Was he on like five or something or not? No, I didn't. No, 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 okay. So then Carl will say, right, this is how you do it. Yeah, plasma shot. He shoots him, hits. Two wounds, strength eight. It's T5. Oh, oh no, T5, yeah, he doesn't wound, he fails to wound. So the two lords are totally messed up. Um, don't think this guy can see him, he can definitely see him though. Yeah, so this boy will shoot, he's now hit on five with the butcher cannon because he moved. Yeah. Try and butcher first. One hit, yeah. threes, does wound. Minus one, isn't it? Oh, no cover in there. Yeah, he's saved. No, he's good. Ectoplasms sitting on uh, fours. Isn't a mortal on a six or something? No, it's a mortal, it's me on a one. Oh, Alright, okay. One, minus three. So he needs a six up. No, he's dead. I tell you what, let's CP it. No, he's dead. So I'm down to one CP. I thought I'd do it just to give you a chance to get in. Right. This uh, car on board, everything it was. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, that's going at them. The Rhino didn't advance, that's going at them. Everything here is going at them. Let's see if anything's alive after the shooting will come back. Okay, so Michael stopped shooting midway through. He's still got a contempt, then loads of board pistols, but he wants to stop there so he can actually charge him and then literally sit on the full board, which will be, well, apart from objective one, but really who's going to stop you getting that. Um, yeah, so go for a charge distance. I think anything but Snake Eyes will fail. Yeah, yeah, we'll use some of uh, the Dino, <laughs> Dino Curse My days, which people normally say are ridiculously yeah. well, see, you know. I think it's, it's just me. me. I think it's, it's me today. Yeah. Like I, said, I think the last time we played and you had Dark Angels, I think you rolled so many twos that it's come wrong for you today. Yeah, definitely. 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 Must be uh, evil at all. So, you know, these boys, nine, by the time they get the pile in, you, yeah, they're you, all in. You know, we'll let you, because it's they've deserved it. They've been parked in that I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just do the um, sergeant, see if there's only one. There's a three guys left, is it? So do it twice, do it twice, yeah. Do it twice. So the sergeant on his first attack is four. And if he doesn't do it, I'll win, yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't do it, you win, yeah. It's just like, uh, it's like when you're playing football, isn't it? You're getting beat next 21. 21 of us next four wins for going for a team. And then if the person that loses, I'm, thinking, I'm going home to my ball. <laughs> exactly. Right, so we'll just, both rounds are you going to interrupt? No, I'll go. Right. I think I've only got one CP left anyway. Right, so that's seven, four on the first round, three on the second. Hits on a four because of the power fist for the sergeant. So he's hit. Yeah, the, the six won't get an extra one for death for the false end because it's minus one. Right, okay, got it. Yeah. So then it's uh, two to wound, two. strength ten. Yeah, so he's got four wounds. Four six ups. That's it, squad. Well, actually, it's D3, not as D3, one at a time. So you save one, so yeah. only got three. The first one is dead. dead. Second one is dead. dead. Last one. You're going to roll. Oh, no. Dead. I thought you were going to like misery it and do like a <laughs> real Well done. Yeah, right. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry, that went weirdly. I think literally, we're just saying before, I think I killed less than 100 and. Less than 200 points with the models. Yeah, this, we'll turn about for your first shooting phase. Go, go on second in your first shooting phase being probably the worst yeah. I've seen in the world. I think so. I think so. I had one of those games. Like I said, Michael said a couple of times, you want to just restart. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of that because that is the dice determine what's going to happen. Yeah. And literally this game has been a prime example of the dice determining what will happen. Yeah. It's not... I, I think later on some of my decisions 
may have been off, but by then you're forced into bad decisions yeah. anyway. Like with what you've got left. I think they were off. I think they were accept the situation. Of what you've got, yeah. Like it, originally, I know Tyrone Urano was everybody. Yeah, I, actually, I actually thought that was the, the spot on. But I had to. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. If I didn't, I'm pinned here and then yeah. dead anyway in that yeah. turn. So that's a tactical thing where like sort of lesser students play out too. Well, I'm a marine. I've got to stand back and shoot. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to use your ability. Yeah. Yeah. All the rest was good. No, but like you said, I, I, look, I know I got smashed, but I still did enjoy it. it I just, like you said, when the dice are against you, it's not. I've played so many games that I know what happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's not. I'm not bothered by it. And if, but I know players, and I've played against people, and I know you have, where yeah, yeah. they'll have a game less and it's the end of the run. That I played it on again, that shit. Or your OP and your list isn't OP, and it's not bad. It's just like if we, if we did a little chart on averages of dice, you also be bottom and mine would be above. Oh yeah, so definitely. Mine would literally be as low as it could go. I think, <laughs> and then yours would be very high spectrum of averages. But yeah, scoop you a little bit, but yeah. But no, it is world eaters victory. Very good debut. A slaughter, yeah, crimson yeah. slaughter. As it should be so it's good hopefully we can get them on again like I said we haven't mentioned it before but we did a horror horror tell the world eater game I'm, I don't want to repeat that because that was like that was horrible wasn't it in that, was, that was the seven overwatch shenanigans yeah where the t oh yeah it was horrible it was literally I think you I mean, figured it out we can because after this I'm probably deserve another no no game, I, so I, don't like I think it. no because I think it is because the thing is, while you choose Tau, so I'll be all watching on five and six, and I'm literally waiting for you to come in. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the um, it's the it's the watch to the watch it's yeah, it's pretty much yeah. yeah. And like we said, you worked it out, didn't you? That I'd spent more time rolling dice in your turn. Yeah, well, then, I think if you say it's like if you're rolling a dice to shoot, is like an you're action. doing something yeah. action. I think I had something like twenty actions, and you had seventy. Yeah, yeah. So it was literally I, yeah. I can't remember I went first or second. You might have actually went. You did go first because you got seized. And you've got your dudes right around the corner and you manage to charge. One Everybody's of the units. wondering what the hell I thought about. I know, I know, but no, it was, I remember that because you seized and I was like, damn. Yeah. But then literally, like, yeah. everything else. I remember you had drop pods. Yeah. And the drop pods land on the objectives and they were scoring your points. Dread pros. Dread pros. Somebody says, yeah. Chaos can't have drop pods. Sorry, a dread pro. Yeah. And they were the things scoring your points and you were hiding. Yeah. Remember, I hadn't hide marines because yeah. everything that kept coming in was just getting shot away. Yeah. It was, it was and the, taking a full, full army's overwatch, wasn't it? What was it called that they used to have on the, on the battle systems where you buy it, where it's like intercept? Is it intercept where you drop in? I can shoot you when you drop. Oh yeah, that's what it was. I think it was called intercept. I can't remember now. Yeah, but yeah. you, you drop, you had two minutes drop in or dead. Yeah, it was. You could pay the put them on the riptide. On the riptide, and I had the um, Yavora. We just melted yeah. everybody that dropped me on. That was. I, I, that's just like you said in this one. You have pretty much done the same to me here, but yeah. not with you, the list. Yeah. You with had, the rules, you, felt like you had your turn and my turn. Just oh your yeah, turn was bad. my turn was terrible. When you when you play the, the when you have to be careful when the opponent activates in your turn. Yeah. Because you want your turn. Yeah, you, you definitely do, you don't want you don't want your opponent to have two turns. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's why everyone so didn't really like in Ari. Yeah. So well, hang on, mate. You, you had your turn. Well, exactly. Can I please yeah. stop interrupting us? That's when it gets annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think as well, like I know you can do it, like all spec scan and that, but I always find like you forget where you're at. Yeah. You then in, in combat it's fine you can do it like once. Yeah. Normally there's obviously other shenanigans like yeah. you know like um, Slamesh who always go first. The units are always attack first and whatnot. But I think you're right. Whenever you're sort of doing stuff in an opponent's turn, it can put them out last straight and it just sort of you forget yeah. where you're at. You're like, is it my turn? Is it your turn? What's going on? I think when you walk away from a two, like a two three hour game and you've had sort of twenty minutes, twenty minutes, and your opponent's had two and a half hours, you sort of think, well. Should I bother? <laughs> no. I think that's that's, a, that's what you just got to be a bit careful with. Yeah. I think so. Like, this didn't happen here. You just couldn't go over top. I honestly couldn't. I couldn't. I think yeah. Melt those dice. Nah. Like I said, they come round. I can't remember who I was talking to. I think it's um, Scott was like, my dice are terrible. Like, I'm gonna get rid of them. I was like, it's just averages of games. Like, I, can't, I can't say that because I threw some dice. I know. I know you <laughs> did. Melt them and that, but. You know what I mean? If you play one game and you roll really bad, your averages are bad. Yeah, if you play a thousand games and you roll bad once or twice, and your averages are going to be average or good, you know what I mean? So, now nah, but that was cool, the Marines got smashed. Um, the new Primoris units, I like the Librarian, he didn't get it done much because he got battered in the first couple of turns. The other guys have that uses, but again, in this kind of setup, they're good against armies where stuff will be dropping because you've got that 12 inch bubble zone they can't drop in. Yeah. And for annoying units, like they can pop smoke and stuff, but again, your list wasn't really that kind of one. You didn't have to target them with guns and stuff like that. So it was it was weird. It's not like you needed to deal with them in that own way. Like I said, the snipers, I'd rather just have an assassin. But I'd give them a run out, painted, you know what I mean? It's nice to get them out of the I think they might get a bit of a touch up in the Marines. I think they're getting, 
las guns, aren't they? Like heavy las guns. Oh, what is it? As a weapon option? As a weapon option. There's an apocalypse. The apocalypse release has them with the snipe rifles in a. I think it's called a las fleece, which means las gun. But it's like, it's an anti armor. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get not like a lighter las cannon. Maybe it's a stronger one. Are you gonna snap the barrels off? Then? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Because I think if you get that, like Primoris. Helldoss is a good, but they lack a lot of strength now. Mm. The Redemptor gets a bunch decent shots on its game. The new tanks, I think, are really good. Oh, new tanks. I think they're good, but I've always said, like, I think, why? Because I'm a, I've got God Army, you know that. I've got a Marine Army, like, why isn't a Marine main battle tank able to shoot twice like a God main battle tank? Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but now that's in, yeah. that makes sense. And the guns, and I've always said, how oh, Cole's supposed to be designing their weapons, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Why is it not got the June Cole or Laz gun, which is the strongest strength 10, D3 shots, minimum 3 damage? Because they're uh, they, don't, they don't break the machine guard. No, That's but they've I'm given them guns in effect yeah. now, haven't they? Sort of. It's only a contract, isn't it? They use, he's doing a contract. Yeah, contract, contract with us. Now I trust them. Yeah, That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. He's a neck one anyway, isn't he? The machine guard. We're going to pack up anyway because we'll it's have, early. We'll have to. We'll have to do this again with a, uh, a, a different one of your army. Well, I do. I do a marine one again. I honestly yeah. just. Yeah. Because like you said, like. Well, you've got a lot more really stuff. You've got a Storm Eagle, you've got the, oh, what's it called? The big heavy oh, the, tank um, and stuff. Spartan. Spartan tank and stuff. Yeah. That's really cool. I think that's brilliant for getting these guys into the battle. But oh, rhinos yeah, yeah. are cheap enough and stuff. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing with the world eaters, especially this list, like, if you're wrong, Berserk has one foot, they're doing it wrong. Yeah, he's definitely and doing if you, it wrong. And if you, the difference between getting the first turn with your rhinos and advancing yeah, them pop and small, because then people tend to think, oh, I need to kill them, and they start burning them out. The last cannons and you think I don't care. Yeah, you, well, that's the rhino blows. I tell you what, yeah. the rhinos, right? They're pretty shit marine list wise, right? Yeah. But because what they're delivering in your list, they're definitely worth the points yeah. because they're. I don't, I don't think that bad. I just think they're, I, just, they're you're so, so much because you're delivering berserkers. Yeah, exactly, if I'm yeah. delivering a tactical squad, <laughs> yeah. or I'm delivering intercept, if yeah, intercessors to get in, I'm only two yeah. attacks from four. You're like four, three attacks, yeah. seven attacks. Yeah. It's strength six yeah. minus one. <laughs> it's definitely worth the points in that sense. That's, that's what I always. I always say people soaking up the last cans into the. Into yeah. the into I think the that's what minus one hit line. Marines in general are missing. I think is like a choppy unit. Yeah. A mainline chop unit for the Marine Codex. Yeah. Like they've got Primaris version of the sort Marines, but not crap. Like if Reavers could have like I don't know, like chain. If a chain blade was plus one or minus one AP, if a Reaver had a minus one AP, they'd be a decent chop unit. Yeah. You get lots of attacks. We've got lots of like terror tactics. Quite cool. The models are awesome. They're always, they're always never match fluff, fluff, uh, fluff of the Marines because on the on the knives, even the normal knife Marines going to be a monofilament knife. Similar. So you've got like a superhuman with a monofilament knife. I think honestly, I think they missed the trick when they did the new intercessors in like Gears of War. I'm a big Gears of War fan. Like when that come out, oh, the chain, chain guns. Because yeah. Marines have had chain swords. Why yeah. not just put a chain blade on the end of the gun and give them? I know it would be a total rip off. Well, Games Workshop don't like uh, people copying, so they'll be a bit critical. But I would have done, it would have looked awesome yeah. having, and actually if you go right back to the Rogue Trader, there's marine bolters with little chain blades on the bottom. The Hong Kong and the Chaos Marines got, uh, you know, the old Terminators. Term yeah, the old chains. On the, on the end how the cool would that have been? Yeah, yeah. And if, if chain swords were a minus one AP. Yeah. I remember second edition where we used to count them as a second weapon. Yeah. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> just on the model that used to just lie. Yeah, yeah. Was, Two, seven, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he gets loads and throw ten grenades. Remember when you used to have a helpline you could ring up? Last question. Don't remember. Nah. Did oh, it? yeah, yeah, because ah. my, my, uh, my buddy always used to say. Uh, Did he not just lie to you and tell you it was a head? No, no, he used, no, no, I ran it because he used, oh. to, he used to say that. He used to say Gene Sears had lightning claws back in the day in second edition. Oh. And I remember, I remember thinking, it didn't sound right. And uh, I ran, I ran up to the game's workshop uh, and just went around the conversation with the guy. So, and he was, uh, close enough. He was as if I was stupid. Yeah. I think I was eight. He I used to have a line. Can you imagine that now? Imagine it'd be absolute abuse. It'd be, I uh, know. It's good that I do that. I remember 35 year old man baby screaming down the floor. What? They've got lighter clothes? Yeah. I remember the catalogue, right? And they don't do it now for obvious oh, yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah. Where you used to be able to buy any parts yeah, yeah. in the mail order direct. Yeah, so, like, yeah. if you wanted just like a chainsaw arm or a left arm of somebody, you could buy it to like get a thing. Yeah. Obviously, now it, they just, it's too much upkeep and stuff as well. And you get people well, just why, being like. Why would they want to sell you the part? Exactly, they want to sell you the kit. 
I know, I know. But that used to be a cool little thing back then. You'd get loads of conversions, and you'd be like, oh, I want such and such as like sword arm. Bottom of the wall, white man. Yeah, and they used to bend, they used to have to pin them. And I mean, so many times I've had like an old avatar, I've still got the old avatar here, and, and like his arm would go like, or the screen that killer corn effect is. I've got no metal now. Games are dropped old white metal, and, and I have a look. You know, well, Tom, pink did Tom, Tom he's, he, but he's gone like, because he, he dug out some old ones, and I can understand why he's then gone and to keep the theme where you can. They look mint like, but they are, they're just constantly falling off and, uh, yeah. I, I still remember my mate years ago had a Screamer Killer, and like every time he played, he'd have to glue it, and like it ended up being like an extra like two inches wide of just glue, 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 or glue, glue, and it just used to fall off all the time, it was a nightmare. It was when you were, when you were 10, the answer was more glue. Well, you didn't know, unless you'd not, like, not the clean up again. No, and not like scrape it, it off now, and not pin it with little thingies, which you'll find out later. Yeah. But I tell you what, GW, now, like, there's so much stuff. Yeah. Like, my little son, some of his mates are anyway, and I tell them, like, you know, the resources, like, the painting tips and tutorials online, the kits are a lot easier to build. Yeah. It's so, it is actually a lot easier Half now than it used to be. It was a bit more affordable, and the scale of the fights were so smaller. Two tactical squads, dreadnought, oh, rhino, well, affordability and a captain. Yeah. And now, I mean, the the, the scale for two thousand points, put the army on, some, especially some horde armies. Oh yeah, it's not gonna, you know, hundreds of models, two hundred models. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to start from scratch and uh, get, a, get an army, you know, paint and all the rest of it, board, table. I think unless you no, unless you get them, you know there are ways to get them cheaper, but it's still expensive. Like you'd make use of the box set, so you get like Dark Imperium or whatever, and you sell half, keep your Nurgle half, and all that. But it's it is still thirty thirty old blocks of the income, isn't it? That it is, eh? Thirty plus. Like you said, when we were kids, I always had. We have stuff, and I have like unit banshees, and I have unit fire dragons, and avatar, and a couple yeah. of bits. And the games were smaller, so we might have a bike or a rhino, but it wouldn't be like a squad of fifteen bikes. It's cool. Yeah, and people, people are people are chasing the, the rainbow yeah. now As and buying everything now. It's kind of the competitive guys. Every time she comes out, every the new hotness is all local local community. The other guy, um, that uh, executioner, is, uh, we're buying through them straight away and putting putting next to killing them. Okay, yeah, yeah. but. Yeah. That's like we were so. Just, 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 I wouldn't want to chase the rainbow. Well, I mean, I've always said personally, like tournaments are good. I enjoy tournaments me. when I play them, but I don't always want to play them. No. But I purposely, because if you want to do one well tournament, you want to. Do, what you do is you buy the units that are going to work well, and I don't want to be the person that goes out and buys. I don't want to buy a tournament army to if build it just for one thing. If that's what you want to do, then that's it. More power to you. Have different games, and more yeah. different ways to play. But I like buying stuff like I'd like getting contemplators because the models are cool. Yeah. With a Sakaran because the model's cool and it does something different. Yeah. It's like the, you've seen the Marine uh, Ven Venador. Yeah. yeah. So I mean that's quite cheap. That's yeah. what it does. And you know what? I just get three of them. Yeah. I don't want three. I want one of this one. and one of them. Yeah, yeah. One and mix it all. Actually, like I said, that's why I have fun games because it's sort of like. You come across different units. My best time in it was when all the indexes were out. I said it loads. Oh, yeah, it was cool there. again. It was like being new, wasn't it? Yeah, like, right. especially when you play so long and you'd be like, Dean's coming with Tau, you pretty much know what I'm going to take. Or be like, Dean's coming with you know what I'm going to take. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hang on, what's good again? What's, and it's playing around with loads of stuff and there's units coming in. Like, People haven't got used. their head around the keywords. Like, no. Suiting things. Yeah. And then as soon as they got their head around that, it was just like, everybody was, everyone was picking their arm and picking their index and then having a fight. Yeah. And it was, yeah, you're right, it was it was old school. And, and then, then all of a sudden, they boosted up. And then remember, when they introduced strategies, remember the start was only three. Three, yeah. yeah. Three from the book. Yeah. And then stratagems were cool, and then some armies were getting amazing ones, and they'd say, oh, hang on! Yeah. That's cool. Play those games with no stratagems, and it feels like you've it actually put just been lost. Uh, well, it was here, wasn't it, as well? I remember going against Keith in the first one, I'd roll like a turn, I was like, oh, I want a command re-roll, and then so needed it. It's, it feels like you lost an arm playing a game yeah, it does. Command, really. It does. In fact, actually, that's probably an interesting thing to do, is keep all the stratagems except command re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd be interested if you just only had the three. But to be fair, like you said, if you're going to play friendly games, it's fine, isn't it? But if you're going to play competitive, you're not just built on your army now, you're built on synergy with stratagems and stuff. So it, it, it sort of hinders you. But it is cool. I, I like creeping elements back in and like stuff like that. It, I think it makes it interesting and fun. I think it shows off your man back. Not playing competitive, you're just going to have to have a conversation. Oh yeah. yeah so you're talking about nights, isn't it? It's like you know, most of the times, let's be honest, unless you go to a tournament or an event, most of the times you're playing with your mates. Yeah. So you know, with your mates, in my opinion, you should say, right, Michael, I've got some nights. I want to take some nights. 
all right, okay, I'll give you a game again tonight. Or, I, or I've got a, I've got like a crazy god good name or something. Yeah, yeah or I'm going to so you know, do a boy spam list. Yeah, when, like, when you rock up with your sort of um, corn demons on foot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm ta- yeah, I'm taking like I think I did, like Keith's corn demons. I had. Yeah. What did I have? A death Watch. Yeah. And it wasn't even that hard, but it showed how powerful they can be when he didn't really have many guns. Yeah. And it was just like, right, I'll remove all these models of all my shooting. And then, it was basically like this, but the other way around. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, hard calmness if you don't have a conversation. Yeah. And even when you try to make it, it's not too bad. This happens sometimes. But that's the thing, because you never know. You never know. And like I said, it comes down to these things. It comes down to these things. And if they're not on your side, which you weren't today, then you've lost. And the cards. But to be fair, the cards were interesting. You said you don't like game dice, but... Uh, Yours were rolling definitely well today. Yeah. If I'd have rolled my dice to seize the initiative. <laughs> Same, <old one>. Same <laughs> result, so you go, that's it, the that's dice a, gods tell you. That's a uh, bit of an omen for the game, that one. Dice gods tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we'll that's cool, up. we'll pack up. Thanks very much, congrats yeah. on the win. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, did, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. <laughs>